Hi, I'm Angela Nicholson, Head of Testing for Futures Photography Portfolio, and I'm holding the D810, Nikon's new full-frame SLR. As you might guess, it's a replacement for the D800 and D800E, but inside is a new sensor with the same resolution as before, 36 million pixels. The important thing, however, is that there's no optical low-pass filter. Apparently, the D800E still had some elements of anti-aliasing, but this has been completely removed for the new camera, and that should enable it to resolve more detail. Nikon has upgraded the shutter inside this camera to make it quieter and more stable. And there's also a new front shutter which is better for reducing vibration. This is particularly useful with a camera which has such high resolution because small movements become really, really important. The D810 introduced group area AF mode and this helps you track a moving subject when the background is particularly distracting. There's been quite a few improvements made for videographers. For a start, there's 50 and 60p recording possible now and there's the introduction of a zebra display mode, so you can see the areas which are approaching burning out. In addition to the usual picture control options, there's a new flat option, which takes contrast and sharpness right down to maximise dynamic range. And this is really useful for producing movies because it allows you to grade more effectively. The picture control options also now have a clarity setting, which enables you to adjust the micro contrast of the images. And this helps give the impression of greater or less sharpness. Although this is a full frame camera, you can actually shoot in four different crop modes. Obviously there's the full frame, FX, there's 1.2 times, 5.4 and also DX mode. As well as introducing a new sensor, Nikon has upgraded the processing engine inside the D810. It's now an XP4 processing engine. This enables the maximum continuous shooting speed to be set to 5 frames per second in FX mode, but it can be boosted to 7 frames per second in DX mode. The native sensitivity range runs from ISO 64 to 12,800, but this can be boosted in the expansion setting down to 32 and up to 51,200. On the back of the camera you can see a new eye button which gives you a quick route to some of the most important settings. The screen on the back of the camera has also been improved and it's now a 1.3 million dot LCD screen. And instead of RGB, it's now an RGBW device. Like the D800, the D810 is also weather and dust proof, so you can take it out in all sorts of conditions and still carry on shooting. For more information about the Nikon D810, take a look at my preview on techradar.com.